They've been holed up in the Al Fatah mosque throughout the night. And as the sun came up, security forces were still on their doorstep trying to get in. And anti-government protesters defying a government curfew, refusing to come out. There was one negotiation of trying to get the women out. However, uh, women in the, uh, in the mosque are refusing to leave with the uh, police forces or the army forces because they are not to be trusted. They, are taking, they take us arrested, they, they, they would arrest us and take us to somewhere unknown, so they are not to be trusted. And then the barricades on the front door came down. Security forces swarmed in. Just how many protesters are inside is not clear, but the building can accommodate hundreds of people. And protesters are still inside the mosque. They sought refuge there along with the injured and the dead after street battles in nearby Ramsey Square after a day of defiance against the military-backed government. Doctors say they were treating people with bullet wounds to their heads and chests. There was blood sticking to our shoes as we went up the pink marble steps, got inside. There was about an acre of uh, mosque in which they were just wounded, moaning and crying and uh, paramedics trying to save them. And at the corner of the mosque beyond, to the left, there were lined up on the floor bodies in white shrouds. Uh, the doctor showed me some of the faces that had been completely blown away. He said there were exploded, exploding bullets used. I can't prove that. But certainly the faces, some of them were quite uh, unrecognisable. The state of emergency law means a curfew begins every day at 7. But fighting continued overnight, like here in Suez. State TV showed pictures of a building near Ramsey Square on fire. The Interior Ministry says the fire was started by demonstrators fighting with police nearby. The anti-coup alliance called on protesters in the area to leave to avoid more casualties, but it's also calling for more protests in the days ahead. Miriam Nohond, Al Jazeera.